Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be a review video, like tiny little mini reviews of a whole <laughs> shoebox. Yeah, I have it in a shoebox because honestly I cannot be that fancy. So it's a shoebox and it's just things that I have collected. Some of them I've already featured here, some just didn't make it to be featured. So I'm like in a whole video or something. So I'm just going to talk about it and maybe I will sort of go back to them at some point and try to, I don't know, adjust my opinion a little bit. But right now this is what it is and we're just going to put it out there in the universe. So while my channel is in general very, very positive about makeup and I feel very, very uneasy about being negative about makeup and about being negative about things in general. I'm trying to sort of channel myself to be positive because there is enough negativity out there and I don't need to add to this and I don't need to invite it into my life, but I still want to give you my true honest opinion about certain things. So that's why there is also going to be some criticism today okay i don't want to call it negativity but and i also have to say that uh, certain things are really just a first impression you know but i will talk about it okay so this is not super super much but i just wanted to sort of get it out there and then i start collecting again the next items also if you're completely new here i'm of course leora i told you already and i am a makeup artist and stylist based in jerusalem israel and this is a channel of color and of i don't know being whatever we want to be and that is what we're doing here so if you like that then please subscribe to my channel because that would be awesome and of course for all the looks that i'm creating filmed or unfilmed, you will have to go to my social media, which will all be linked in the description box down below. Okay, so sweeties, uh, let us go into the shoe box. <laughs> and let us start with this one. So, so this was my first impression with Viseart. I have been saving up for this palette. This is the Basically Addict palette, and then I also have the Fashion Addict palette that I haven't even touched yet, because I did my first look with this one. This is how the palette looks. And maybe it was really um, a fault on my side, because I had hyped this up in my mind that this is some kind of magic. Turns out it's not. <laughs> It's just makeup and it's very, very expensive makeup, okay? Um, so I don't know if it re was really just my expectations being wrong, but I felt like, wow, is this is like a $70 palette. A $70 palette. Why doesn't it do everything for me, you know? So it turns out that this is just normal makeup and I have affordable makeup that works just as well as this. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna go back and and buy more from Viseart. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, I maybe I used, I don't know, five shades in this palette. It is such a shame, but nothing draws me back to this palette. And nothing draws me to the other palette that I have that I bought together with this one, the, the Fashion Addict palette. And they are beautiful palettes and I saved up money for them and I waited and I fought to get them because it was a hassle to get them shipped to Israel. <sighs> but nothing draws me back to them right now. So just saying that that was not such a positive experience, but again, it could be me. It could absolutely be me because I get sometimes I get just turned off by something and then the whole thing doesn't work for me, you know? So I will definitely at some point go back to this right now, not. I'm on a break. I'm definitely on a break. But um, so that was that. Then the next palette that I tried off camera, I have not filmed with this and it's the first time that I tried this brand, is actually the Beauty Crop. And I have a whole set, I think it's like four or five palettes of this. And that was the um, Strawberry Daiquiri palette. So I just felt like a kind of a pinkish look that day and I didn't like it that much, <laughs> you know? The the thing that I liked was the shimmer. The mattes were kind of really, you know, <laughs> not really problematic or anything, but also not, didn't blow me away at all, you know? So I still have other palettes from the Beauty Crop, as I already told you, with other color schemes. Maybe I'm just gonna go and try those. I am, by the way, also affiliated with them. I had signed up for that without even trying this brand. And I kind of feel guilty about it. I also don't do that anymore because now I'm always trying a brand before I join an affiliate program or ask 
the brand for a link that is not affiliated or whatever you know like um, a code um, discount code for my viewers or whatever you know I want to have tried the brand but this was basically what I did in the very beginning of my channel I signed up for this and I hadn't even tried it till like maybe a month ago or so um, and it didn't blow me away didn't blow me away the the pressed glitter here was really really nice the shimmer was nice the mattes didn't blow me away but again um i'm gonna have to try the other palettes that i have with the other color schemes maybe because there's also a green one maybe i should have started with that but i don't know okay so let's go on to the next thing and that was actually super super positive and that was the flare palette from ace Boutte. this is how she looks this is a bit scratched up because i also created a liner with this dark green here but this was amazing this was an amazing 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 experience and i already know that i love ace Boutte. there are a lot of people who struggle with the formula and who don't like it but i personally love the ace Boutte formula so it just shows you how personal this is you know when i'm saying i didn't like this viseart palette then that doesn't mean that you won't like it you know it is so so personal makeup is like buying shoes you know it's got to fit for you it's got to fit your style it's got to fit your size it's got to fit your uh, arching of the foot. I don't know how to say that, but I'm just saying that there are so many things that need to fit when it comes to makeup. So when I'm saying I don't like something, then it is totally possible that you will like it. Or also the other way around. If I say this is beautiful, then maybe you'll try it and you won't like it. So just saying. But for me, this was beautiful. And this is also a look that I didn't film, but it is already live on my social media and it was gorgeous it was abs absolutely gorgeous you know so uh, yeah that was the flare palette from Ace Boutte then I also got this palette that is basically a secondhand palette I think I got this from Christine from from Australia she is one of my friends of subscribers here and uh, she sent me this I think it was her was it oh, I'm losing track it's <laughs> so much so but I'm pretty sure it was so she sent me this and this she I think she gently used it or she swatched it and that is all so it was basically new okay and I happen to really 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 love the Colourpop formula this is the did I say that the so jaded palette from Colourpop okay that was a collaboration palette with Kathleen Lights and that came out at some point I don't know at some point in 2020 I don't remember anymore so yeah and this is how she looks and I love this palette I love it i love the colourpop formula there is not a single look that i've done with any colourpop palettes that i didn't like you know the performance this is a formula that vibes with me the brand in itself also vibes with me because it is leaning more affordable and that is just something that i totally see happening for me you know because i want my makeup to be affordable and not break my bank account or that i don't necessarily have to save up for months and months to buy a palette you know i just enjoy when i see something and i like it that it is affordable enough for me to buy it okay so this of course i got as a gift thank you so much again sweetie but um yeah in general i think it's just so nice when makeup is affordable you know so yeah so that is the palette i loved it i loved it i loved it so if that is the color scheme that you're looking for i think it is an amazing palette okay then i also wanted to quickly show you this one again there is already a review up this is the um holiday 2020 palette from alien cosmetics just wanted to quickly throw that in in case you did not see that review i love this palette it is so so beautiful i don't know if it is still available because i i assume it was limited edition but this was an amazing palette amazing quality super super good performance really really nice in case uh, you would like this it was a beautiful also the color scheme wise super beautiful winter themed palette you know so now we are moving towards spring so it's probably maybe not so sought after anymore more but I think if you're like me and you do your makeup not according to the seasons but the way whatever way you feel then this might be your thing if it is still available but in general Alien Cosmetics is one of my most favorite brands when it comes to their creativity and how they do their makeup and how they put it together and the formula so this is definitely something to look out for you know also I am affiliated of course with Alien Cosmetics everybody who knows me knows that <laughs> so um, I do have a code with them I don't know if it's working right now I have not been notified if they have finished reviewing their affiliate program but you can try you can try and if not then not okay so then I bought something here in my local drugstore let me just polish off the 
<laughs> the fingerprints. So this is a highlighter palette from Revolution, the strobe lightning lighting strobe lighting palette. This I don't know why I bought this. This was a pressure buy. I just felt like I want to buy something because you know what? Because everything I need to order, everything I need to order, basically I never buy anything just at the spur of the moment in the store. You know, I also cannot swatch anything in the store. I cannot try anything in the store because all the testers have been removed for already like over a year due to, you know, the pandemic. So it's not fun anymore. It's not fun. So also this was all sealed and everything. And I bought this because I felt like I want to try the highlighter formula from Revolution because actually I think it was Angelica Nyquist who tried some highlighters sometime back and she actually liked those. She didn't like the the um, eyeshadows but she liked the highlighters now that might be a different formula though don't remember I think it was single compact it was not a highlighter palette but doesn't matter I thought you know let's try it it's not gonna break my bank account so let's just try it and this was a complete fail this was a complete fail this is like I don't know <laughs> for someone who likes super super soft gentle highlighter maybe but I'm not that girl you know I like my highlighters to be really obvious you know what I mean so that was not that that was not for me not not made for me made for someone else for sure but not for me okay then let's go to this this is actually something I have panned and I'm not really into project panning and stuff like this it's just not not part of my what I'm doing but this is my gel eyeliner from Il Maquillage in the shade blackout this is basically their black gel eyeliner okay they have all kinds of other colors i also have all kinds of other colors and this is what i've been using i mean this is, is a repurchase okay i've been using though this highlighter from this brand for i want to say two years straight um this is insanely expensive good thing that you don't need so much but it's also really really tiny you know now for example i'm using the one from inglot which is also a black gel eyeliner and now let's just compare the size Let's just compare sizes, you know, let's just go there. Like really, can can you see the difference? <laughs> and this was way more affordable. I think it's like half the price of this one, you know? So um, I think the performance was good. It dries out at some point. Uh, one usually has to put in some mixing medium. I just added some Doraline from Inglot in order to make it a little bit more workable again. The performance overall was good. It was uh, opaque, really, really nice and smooth and everything is just super, super expensive and not a lot of product you know so I'm not going to repurchase this because now I have sort of started to use the it's like everything is dirty I don't know what's happening um I'm I've started to use this one from Inglot and it is just as good just as good just as opaque it's what I'm wearing today and I pay half of the price for this for way more product you know so just makes more sense for me if something works super well then why do I need to pay more doesn't make sense, right? So that is that. It's a very, very good product, but it's I'm not going to repurchase it because it's just too expensive. Okay, so let's talk about the last thing for today, and that is actually this palette, and this paints me. This is from Sample Beauty, the Painter's Palette. This was a collaboration with Beth Painter, and this is a 30 shade eyeshadow palette which looks like this. I bought this on sale. I think it was one of the sales around Christmas on Beauty Bay where I just threw this in in order to reach free shipping. <laughs> I have tried Sample Beauty before. I have loved Sample Beauty before. Now this one, but I have only done one look, okay? Let, let's just um, take this into consideration. I did only one look, but this look was such a struggle. It was such a struggle. And I think I worked with uh, the reds here and I think I did a liner with this one because it's all scratched up. It was, the liner was okay, but the other shades, I don't know, that was not nice. I did not like this look. Now, I still, to be fair, I always have to say that when I am failing, in makeup in my makeup application it is usually not only the palette it is also usually something within me because I am super sensitive to things like this I have to say sometimes it is just I woke up like I got out of the bed with the wrong leg first or something like that you know sometimes something is off um, I don't know 
you know sometimes I just feel too much pressure or I feel too much I don't know something and then it's sort of applies itself on my face and that is then of course not fair and I wish I could be more professional and that's the same thing applies to the to the Viseart palette as I already said before you know I wish I could be more professional I want to be but I think as a creative person and the way I'm feeling colors and the way I'm feeling everything maybe even a little bit too much that sort of then just I don't know trickles down into my makeup application and I'm just a human being you know so my first impression of this one was not that great not that great didn't like it so much I definitely want to go back to this one and also to the Viseart palette at some point when I just feel when I have a day where I don't have to film something else that I just go back and sit down and do a look with that and just see what comes out and then definitely I'm going to update you so don't take it like take it with a grain of salt what I said today about the palettes that I didn't like because you know I'm very very sensitive to to outer influences you know so that is basically what it is for today I hope you did enjoy this maybe maybe it helped you maybe you were debating to get something of, of those palettes or something but please make your, make up your own minds okay make up your own minds because I don't want to influence you in that way that you say oh Leora didn't like this so I'm definitely not gonna like this because it happens all the time that I'm liking something and someone else doesn't or the other way around and that's totally fine okay sweeties uh, that is it for today of course you will find everything that I spoke about linked in the description box you'll also find my makeup somewhere down there either in the description box or in a pinned comment depending on where I have room also of course all my discount codes and of course my social media will be linked in the description box so you can check out and browse around and of course if you're new here please check out my channel look at other videos see if you like it and if you do then please subscribe to my channel but absolutely love to have you here and besides that I'm going to see you here super soon for my next video which is going to be most probably a little bit more positive <laughs> and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye